This video is a review of Zach's home design for the Pinko Clad class in spring 2021. And we are inside of draft site looking at everything that he um, put into the home. And uh, starting from the left, working our way over, he's got the roof design and then the matching elevations. And they're turning on these angles because the it helps us design um, all the where all the ridges and hip ridges and eave lines and all of that stuff match up when we kind of come straight off of these plans and so the, this one is actually upside down but he we, we turn it around when we present it and i can show those too but right now i'm going to focus on his floor plan and i'm going to turn electrical off just to start we'll come back to it and zach was mon probably the most um set or he had the best vision so he knew what he wanted he found the model homes on floorplans.com he found aspects he liked on house house.com and he was very um conscious of what he wanted to see in his home and um did a great job so he he found a home that was very similar had a very big garage for like a back area with a shop and then wanted a big front porch with like you know like a, um, a shed roof um the one he saw had like a large dormer over it i'm not sure if he incorporated that but a uh, double door large foyer bench into this kitchen and um we talked as he was designing he knew about pinch points and how he wanted things very open and large island um so he just you know he knew what he wanted he wanted a large kind of like lodge style vaulted ceiling great room this is a um, <clears throat> a, a ranch yes it's a ranch um so he had that these are his stairs to the basement this is his dining area all open and then it's a first floor master so we walk in large closet and we talked about that that is you know you probably want to have windows at the end so if you're going to put a closet there you can um, skip the windows so we have the balance with the two closets there and then we picked up the window design so from the outside they're balanced there's your master there's your bath um, <clears throat> so we talked about that a lot that was reworked a few times and i'm just i'm glad he went through the process so this is one kid's room and we got like the little half bath so he's got this cool nook feature there and then this is the other uh, kids room so a closet large pantry for the kitchen and then you come down here and this is the mud room and then the uh the kids bathrooms over here so a little bit um i would say not traditional where the they're split and they have to go out and what would be considered more of a high traffic area but all in all i think it works and then he went and completed his his foundation plan and um basement and all that stuff on there which was not part of our requirements but uh, we did skip foundations this year he didn't have a second story so he had time to do that so as we go over to his uh roof plan so he's got um we'll just kind of focus on the, the top and then the front so as we went to uh, the left, the hip sections progressively got bigger. So we had to work on these little jogs and how do you take them, how do you take the hip ridges and the valleys down to the corners and then work down this line, um, which is a process and it takes a lot of math. We have to know our pitches in draft site. We deal with offsets. So, um, so yeah, he was able to work through it and you can see, um, you know from the top this this section is the most eye-catching but if we look at the um the garage gable run that is a very very large section so if you look at this side it actually kind of dominates the uh the rest of the house if you're looking at the right side and uh there's there's a shed porch extension that comes off a different angle and so that's represented right here and then um, his left side is mostly just the garage gable peak and then the back again is turned upside down um, but you can see 
um, we there sh there should be some um, valley and hip ridge lines working their way down to the to the left. So we are back looking at um, Zach's final portfolio picture submission, and you can see he did indeed finish um, the roof work. And I wanted to make sure that that was acknowledged and that he did complete this and change the, the line so they, they popped. Um, so what I was showing is his working file, and then I'm going to um, kind of find some other pictures. So there's the the um, screenshot, which has all his layouts on top, and um, we'll talk about the electrical plan. He's got these um, you know garage fluorescent lights in here, which is cool. And he is also in my construction course, so let's see what else we have. Um, and he built, he will have another video coming out very soon. He built um, two firewood racks in uh, very short order. So he is a um, great designer and a great um, builder. So lots of talent. Let me see if there's any other pictures that I missed. Nope. <clears throat> so we will leave it on his electrical plan again um, that all the students um, can do as well. We'll cover that. But um, again, Zach's, you know, very focused on what he wanted to see, was able to conceptualize it in CAD and also in construction, doing a great job there, too. So um, pleasure to have in class. So as a senior, good luck to you, Zach.